Hey guys, Puppet Pete back in today with another episode of Old Guys and Old Games. And today we're going to look uh, at an Intellivision version of one of the very first games that I had on the Atari 2600 when I was, what, 12 years old. So today we're going to look at David Harley's newest creation from Intelligent Vision. It is Space Invaders. Now, we all know that the television had Space Armada as their clone of Space Invaders back in the day. And it was great in its own right. I really do like the game. But I think I always love Space Invaders a little bit more, the Atari 2600 version at least. To be quite honest, I don't find the arcade version all that fun to play. It's a little bit more difficult, and my hands always hurt when I play it, especially the button version. That's at the barcade that I go to once in a while and play it. But uh, anyway, I digress a little bit. Uh, this is going to be the best of both worlds of Space Armada and Space Invaders, because, yes, yeah, Space Armada had some great things about it. Uh, but it's going to put uh, the size of the screen plus the ratio of the characters back into the proper perspective. Uh, it's going to give a lot of control as well uh, for modification as you're setting up your game, whether it's an 8x8 grid or 6x8 grid, 6x6 grid. And I'll tell you, some of them are pretty hard. I've only played it a very little bit here, but I've found that there's a balance there. You don't want to make it necessarily as big as you possibly can. Uh, because that's a little bit too hard. But uh, anyway, again, I digress one more time. And let's just get into this and play a little bit of Space Invaders. Uh, and we'll see how it looks. It's available by ROM from uh, the ROM's Vault, which is on the Intelligent Vision website. Also accessible through Intellivision Revolution's uh, homebrew store. Uh, and it's also available uh, in physical version from Intellivision Revolution in their store. So Intellivision Revolution, Rev and uh, Dave from Intelligent Vision have been working together recently with their physical releases and the ROM releases. So this game is available. Uh, by all means, you should pick it up and give it a shot. Uh, very inexpensive, right? 10 bucks for the ROM. Or if you want to buy a physical version, which I actually have a physical version coming. Really looking forward to it. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go play a little bit of Space Invaders. Here we go right now. All right, I got to throw on my headphones here. So I got the sound. Just looking at my sound. It looks like it's going to work all right. I have it on the Ultimate Flashback at the ROM hooked up today. So I didn't. I had never played this before today. I've played a couple games just to see, uh, find a little bit of a balance for the gameplay here. And let's go in. Intelligent Vision presents Super Pro Space Invaders, copyright 2022. Excellent. All right, where do we go from here? Level play, I'll play level one. I'm going to play beginner so I can play a little bit. Speed of Invaders will go one, and I'm going to go columns. I'm going to go six by six. So it's going to be 36. And here we go. Oh, now look, there's the... Oh, missed him. So... A lot of the graphics looks very similar to uh, the Space Armada here, but the the enemies, the invaders, are a little bit smaller than they are. Oh. A little bit smaller than they are in uh, Space Armada, more closer to the Space Invaders ones. Got that rhythmic, rhythmic beat. Oh, yes, we got that, that. Oh, that was stupid. That was dumb. Oh, I was just trying to go over and get that. And when you hit the the red fighter that goes across the top, he, uh, it does rebuild one of your... Oh. All right, here we go. We're going to try to get him down to a few... Oh, got him. We'll just try to get the wave here. We're not going to worry about... There we go. All right. That's kind of neat. I like how it does that at the end. Okay. I always try to knock off a, a column or two. Then maybe a row. 
A little late there. I like it. So we'll get in position to get some lots of points. We'll get the points from uh, getting those red ones up at the top. Didn't get him. Alright, let's slow this puppy down here. Oh, I got my big screen going here too. We'll play her from the big screen. Oh, I'm not going to get this one, I don't think. Oh, I did. I did. Okay, we got to get rid of them. Nice. Got that little double take too, which I always like so much in Space Armada. Woo, woo. And nice. Perfect. Okay, we get some bullets up there. I would try to take one out in the middle, right? No, now we got the different... We got the different bullets coming at us, the brown bombs. A few different sound effects, too. I like the different sound effects Dave's put into this game. When that brown thing blows up, it makes a good... We should be getting some red ones here pretty quick. Nice. All right. Oh, let's go get them. Oh, I'm not going to get there in time, am I? Nope. Oh, too early on that one. We're going to get this one, too. Oh, that was not worth it. I will get... Nice. That's good. That was good. I got the red one right before it. Oh, we got some invisible ones coming now. I'm going to try to keep track of those. Never easy. I'll dwindle off this side here. I think they're all. Oh, too early? Yep, too early. You want to keep those. You want to keep those barriers as much as you can in this game. Uh, even if it's not this level, like right there, that's important to get it out of there. Oh, yeah. Focused, I'm focused, I'm not talking here at all. That's that's a hard thing. Pretty intense, isn't it, Coco? I'm gonna get him. Oh, good. Got the invisible one. There'll be an invisible one between each one of these, I bet. Knock some of these guys out. I'm not going to get him. Nice. Okay, I want to get a red one here. It's all right. Completed five levels. That's pretty good. Oh, too early. No, no, I got him. I got him. But I kind of lost track. I don't know what I've got. Oh, that's good. 
And I got that whole call out before they drop. Oh, well, lots of men. I find it's not typically the men that duck into this game. It's that they, you don't, you, you get overtaken, right? That was good. I don't know what else I have here for. Oh, nice. Nice. That's going really well so far. That it? That's it? Wow. All right, six levels down. Oh, I got these friggin' guided missiles now. They're rough, they're hard, and they're... Another reason you really, really need your uh, barriers. Or bunkers, I guess they're called. I missed one there? Nope. Okay. Alright, get rid of these two. I gotta get them. Oh! I still got lots of men, though. Oh, come on. Not gonna get it. Too late. Ooh. Got him. Alright. I gotta get a red one here. Get a couple bunkers back. Oh. Get them down a little bit low enough, then swing them right over into the, uh, swing them right over into that bunker is a way to get rid of those guided missiles, like, right there. You can shoot them, but I don't find it. Take it over here. What's all there? What isn't here? Well, that's a bit of a help, but I think there's some invisible ones there that I cannot see. Oh, look at that one. I was lucky, I'm telling you, I hit a couple there I didn't even know were there. Wow, this is rough. Oh, shoot. Wow. Come on. I have no idea what's there, what isn't. Oh, the guy to miss a great buy it. I don't know what I'm missing, what I'm not. I think I'm missing some more, though. I don't think I'm seeing very many of them. Where is it? Oh, there's one left there. Oh, there. That was neat, though. That was neat. I really thought it would appear when it came. It was the last one, but it just didn't. So there you have it. I mean, that's a pretty basic game. You can crank it up quite a bit, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's a lot of fun. That didn't take all that long to play. It's not like I played it forever. Uh, and I got to switch back to the screen here. Um, very well done. Again, it takes the best of both worlds. It takes the best traits with the 6x6 grid than just a smaller screen and more room to go back and forth of Space Invaders. But it takes the great things like the different kind of missiles. The I like the red... Uh, uh, enemy up at the top that goes across the flying saucer, whatever you want to call it, to take him out to rebuild your bunkers. And I've already heard that eventually, uh, just like in Space Armada, which I haven't seen in 40 years, if you get into it far enough, that red uh, 
that red fly saucer at the top starts coming down, attacking your bunkers and attacking you, and you can take them out. It's really very, very interesting. So, anyway, once again, you can get this one, uh, physical format from Television Revolution Store, or you can get the ROM from Intelligent Vision, uh, accessible via the Intelligent Vision, uh, Intellivision.us website in the ROMs vault, but is also linked for that in the Intellivision Revolution Store as well. <sighs> Tongue twister, hard to say. Anyway, guys, Coco's starting to relax here a little bit finally instead of reaching out and grabbing my microphone and scratch it on me. So uh, that's a good time to sign off. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here today. And we'll see you in the next episode of Old Guys and Old Games. You take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the I'm Rick Reynolds of the Intellivisionaries Podcast, and you're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. Whoa.